Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Bible Illustrated Hands. Uh, today's question comes from uh, an Instagram user who wants to remain anonymous. Uh, she She's an Orthodox uh, and she says that she understands that uh, we have freedom in Christ but that uh, she feels a bit guilty because she does not celebrate the Sabbath. So if I could make a video on that. Thank you for your question, anonymous uh, anonymous uh, user. Uh, well, the issue here is complicated uh, and it borders on many things. Uh, first of all, what's the point of, uh, of the Sabbath? Uh, the point of the Sabbath is for us actually to worship Christ. And uh, we do that by abstaining for, uh, from work on Sunday. Um, because uh, if we work on Sunday, odds are that we are going to miss out on the church. But uh, I, I know that the point of your question is why do we celebrate it on Sunday and not on uh, and not on uh, Saturday? Well, the point here is that uh, Sunday is greater than Saturday. Um, Saturday was given uh, to the Jews of old as a foreshadow of Sunday uh, because. Uh, with Sunday, um, you probably heard it being called the eighth day, uh, because uh, because Sunday is uh, simultaneously the last day of the week and the first day of the week, uh, and that is why it is uh, an icon and a prefigurement of eternity. Uh, the apostles gathered on San Sunday, and then that is when they broke the bread, when they celebrated the Eucharist, um, because they understood that uh, and that, that this is uh, something that is often, uh, often emphasized by the Holy Fathers, um, that Christ's resurrection is greater than the miracle of the creation of the world. Uh, because uh, with creation, um, God does something uh, outside of himself. But uh, with resurrection, which is the culmination of his incarnation, uh, God himself makes the entire creation immortal and that is why uh, and that is why sunday is so important and uh, that, uh, that is why uh, the celebration of the uh, of the sabbath was in a way transferred uh, transferred to sunday however uh, that does not mean that the old sabbath has gone away completely and that is why in absolute majority of Orthodox churches, you will have uh, uh, the Divine Liturgy on Saturday. And that is precisely because uh, uh, to honor the Old Sabbath. And because uh, Christ did that by staying in tomb on the Great Saturday. And that is why, in a way, we have retained its respect. It isn't the Saturday that we speak of in the Great uh, in the in Ten Commandments, but, uh, and it is not as binding, you know, um, because uh, uh, people don't have to attend church on Saturday, but if they can, if they want, they can, uh, but in, a, in that way, at least in the Orthodox Church, you can have it both ways. Now, of course, San Sunday retain its, uh, its primacy. Uh, because we enter into covenant with Christ through baptism. We haven't entered the covenant uh, with unincarnate God of Sinai. Uh, through, Christ, uh, uh, through Christ, we enter the covenant, but it is the different covenant that was once given to the Jews. So that needs, uh, that needs to be emphasized. So while the Ten, Command uh, Ten Commandments, of course, are binding for us, their meaning changes. And that is like that with every commandment. You know, uh, for example, um, the simple do not commit adultery does not mean just do, do not commit adultery. It practically means don't even have sin, uh, lustful thoughts. Do not murder practically becomes do not hate even the greatest sinner. As much as he hates you, as much hurt as he has caused you, or your entire family, so all those things change, and uh, but they change for something better than they were. I hope I was of some use to you. Uh, this isn't a matter that I have, uh, I have uh, 
uh, studied extensively. Uh, the fathers are even torn uh, about it because uh, I like that uh, that they say that uh, with Christ every every day is a Sabbath. You know um, that we should uh, worship uh, that we should worship uh, Christ with the same jubilation as if every day is the resurrection. That's it for today. I hope this was something of use to you. Um, um, I would like also to return to my beloved St. Gabriel of Georgia. Uh, a little event that happened. And there was this dog that uh, usually slept around the monastery where he was. And one day this man... Um, who has just left the Divine Liturgy, saw the dog, and he threw a stone at him. He missed, the dog fled, and St. Gabriel approached him and said, it, it, uh, it would have been better for you not to have attended the liturgy at all for doing that. So, you know, just something to think about. Bye!